Hey everybody, it's Craig and Timber, and uh, we are here today in the uh, Baldwin Lake area of Big Bear. It's cold, we got some fresh snow, so Timber and I thought we'd take a chance to uh, head up to the local view spot, get a little hike on, and at the same time we're probably going to show you the new Roughwear Not A Hitch system. Uh, so hang out, come along, and let's take a look. All right, so we finished our hike up to the peak. We found a nice spot here that was a little protected from the snow somewhat, so this is where we're gonna call it our, our camp for the day. So if you're like us, uh, I wanna take my pack off and relax a little bit, uh, but I don't want my trail dog running off into the wilderness where I can't find them. Maybe there'll be some other hikers, some wildlife, so I wanna keep them near me. So a lot of times I'm hitching them up to my backpack or maybe to a log or a rock. So uh, so today we're gonna try out Roughwear's new uh, not a hitch system. And uh, so I think that'll be pretty exciting to check out. It's nice and light and small. I packed it up here, didn't even notice it. Uh, so let me get it set up and let's show you what it looks like. All right, so here we go with the not a hitch from Roughwear. So first thing we want to notice here is that they've done a nice job of providing a nice packaging with some ripstop nylon, um, real lightweight. It's got this nice attachment feature on the back so you can hook it to your pack, to yourself, to your dog, whatever's easier for you. So uh, when you flip this open, you're gonna find the instructions are ironed right on to the packaging so you never forget in case you're a slow learner like I am. Uh, but we don't start there. So the first step is we turn it over, we open up the back, and we're gonna attach the initial mount to the tree. So step one here is we're gonna bring this around the tree. And as you can see from the length of this cordage, we could have chosen a mighty sequoia, uh, but in this case, I've chosen something a little bit punier. Uh, but there are various sizing options with the stay cord here, so you just bring the internal carabiner around and you attach it so that it makes a nice good fit. I could even go a little bit tighter there if I want to, so let's do that. And we'll hook that up to that guy. Beautiful, and now that is there and stays where it is. Next step is we reach into the bag and we're gonna actually retrieve the stake cord. This cordage goes all the way across to the other tree who we've got designated right over here. So let's do that. All right, so here we are at the other tree, and so now what we need to do is bring the cordage and this other little carabiner around the tree, and it's really simple. Just lock it right in place like that. Boom, boom, boom. So let's go see what the other end looks like. All right, so as you can see, we had a lot of cordage there. It's a nice feature, actually, lets you mount this system up really at wide intervals between some pretty far apart trees and give your dog a lot more room to kind of move around within your camp setting so that's nice but you're probably wondering well how's that going to work if the leads is laying on the ground it's a really nice system here for Mofor. so what they have is this circle uh, that comes in here and actually binds this cord from pulling backwards if your dog tensions it but allows you to take the slack up to accommodate for any distance between the trees so i'm just going to go ahead and pull on this and as you can see very easy almost no effort going on for me to bring it forward pulling up the tension get it right where i like it that's pretty good and look at that it will not go backwards because this ring now drops into place it's a climbing system and i think it's also a testament to why roughwear is one of the best brands for any of this kind of stuff for your trail dog um, really high quality built on some sound technology coming together to make a product that i think works for everybody so great job roughwear we really like this system uh, only thing left to do now is utilize this locking d carabiner and uh, again i'll point out a secondary feature which is this thing swivels and so if you've ever hooked a dog up to a system like this and let them sit for a while, they go around in circles like they're going to dig themselves into a hole in the ground having fun. And if this didn't swivel, it could t potentially create some tension on your dog's neck. So by having this a swiveling locking D, locking carabiner, uh, this is a really nice safety feature that's been incorporated into the design. And on top of that, we've got, uh, like I said, it's a locking carabiner. So this gate opens up and when it closes, you can just spin in this barrel down and now it's locked and can't come undone so you don't have to worry about your dog somehow managing to get his uh, leash out of this carabiner you know when you don't have direct eyes on him so so 
With that in mind, let's hook up timber. Buddy, you're all set. Now we can relax. Thanks a lot, everybody. We hope you've enjoyed this little how to video on Rough Wear is Not a Hitch, and uh, hope to see you out there soon. So be sure and get out and enjoy the trails in your local area, support your local trail dog associations. And if you've got any questions, reach out. We'd be happy to answer them. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.